check, 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 check. She got the thing I don't know. She from I don't know. She wears some gold. The place like a dojo. So will you say, will you say, will you say? Out there listening, all right? Hello, hello. Hey. It's Mr. Music in the mix. Once again, shout out to the whole Caribbean Power Jam Radio. Behind the Mash Radio. Shout out to Nice Entertainment. DJ Nice, what's up? It's Mr. Music in the mix. Mr. Music in the mix. Mr. Music in the mix. Wine it up, don't stop, girl. Wine it up, crank it up, crank it up. Hey, show me the body, girl. Get in the middle, girl. Show me the body, girl. All my demons right now, I want you to give me a listen. Give me a rough fight. Give me a little chip. Give me a rough fight. Show me the chip, girl. Chip it on your way, girl. Chip me the chip, girl. Chip it on your way, girl. Boom, boom, boom. It's Mr. Music in the mix. Give me a rough fight. Make your body talk to me. Mr. Music in the mix. It's Mr. Music in the mix. Any girl can bubble in the trouble. Any girl can bubble in the trouble. Once again, every week we hear Caribbean Power Jam Radio, all right? Any girl can bubble in the trouble. Any girl can bubble in the trouble. Any girl can bubble in the trouble. Why did he make it? Why did he trouble? Bubble, 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 bubble. What to say, girl? Bubble, bubble and bubble, bubble and bubble, bubble. Two on your front, I miss a bubble, 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 bubble. Turn it back, I miss a bubble, 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 bubble. Ready? It, it, 
It's Mr. Music in the mix. Another young boy fall mm-hmm. You so care us that night Oh you is a bad man Shut up y'all I'm down It's coming it's in What do you every week we hear Come here Power Jam Radio Every Monday 6 p.m. alright Ready You ain't no bad man A real bad man just make us own decisions You don't need anyone He only needs God You ain't no bad man boy now You ain't no bad man So sit down Rock back Tell them I don't need those straps to defend my people From wicked and evil woes So, sit down, rock back Big man look for a walk, you do them evil If they distrust my people, then fire go burn them Fire go burn them Oh Lord, I said this is the year for love Fire go burn them Fire go burn them It's Mr. Music in the mix. Just one, yes. I know I just 
It's Mr. Music in the mix. You can't tell me. Remember I was broke. Now I'm getting rich. Every day we live. You can't tell me. Remember I was. It's Mr. Music in the mix. Once again, every week we hear Behind the Mask Radio at Caribbean Power Jam. All right. Let's go. Think it's a game. I came up from nothing. You can't tell me. Yeah, did it on my own. Check out my neck, check out my wrist. Yeah. I swear I ain't never expected it to be like this. Now I'm getting rich. I swear every day we live. Yeah, man. every day we live. Yeah. You can't tell me. Yeah. Remember I was broke. Yeah. Now I'm getting rich. Yeah, yeah. when you diamond colder than the boot, then you know you lit. When you it, 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 it's Mr. Music in the mix. I just wanna rolly, rolly, rolly with a dabber ranch. Play something for my ladies real quick. Oh, yeah. What's up? Can I play something for my ladies, Ella? Yeah. Me and my wheel pull up the AOD back to back. Little AMG 63. Okay. I tell all my break it up. Break it down. It, 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 it's Mr. Music up, in the up, mix. Up, Once again, y'all can find up, me on that Instagram. Up, I am DJ up, Mr. Up, music up, and Behind up, the Mash Radio, all right? I tell all my what? Break it up. Break it down. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Nikki, break it down. It's it, it, it's Mr. Music in the mix. Pink Lamborghini, just a race with China. What the race to China? Just a race with China. Mix with China, real thick. Smuggle bricks to China. I sell all my numbers. Cut the check, cut the check. Bust it down. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm a loose fit on it, yes, it's on it. I'm a bad bitch, I'm a throw fit on it. I'm a bust it open. I'm a go stupid and be a dick on it. I don't date honey, cookie on tsunami. All my niggas wipe me once they get that good. I think he need the bunny. I might just let them find me. Never trust a big butt and the smile work the Ronnie. But rep queens like Supreme ass web and niggy. That ass pin me in chow. Well, from me my doubt. Get this sim is freezing like Ellen's in a cow. Nick is Miss Nikki, but my name ain't a cow. I tell all my hum, oh, break it up. Break it down. Bag it up. It's Mr. Music in the mix. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Behind the mask radio, y'all know what it is. Creepy and Power Jam. Mr. Music, I'm here. Let's go. Rich so icy, wonder why she like me. I'm drowning. Water, I just bought a cube and dipped it in a fountain. Everywhere that I go, it's a light show. I'm surrounded. Bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down. I'm drowning. It, 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 it's Mr. Music in the mix. You can't call party with party. Cardi a body in a Rari. Diamonds all over my body. Shining all over my body. Cardi got your bitch on my. Two ain't gang, you lame. Then the truck laying the lane. Throw out the brain. Back to that real quick. Can I play something for my jammers one time? Ooh, I Ooh, I can die. I'm away. Thy kingdom come on earth. Thine will be done on earth. All away. Thine one more. Once again, it's behind the mask, shorty. I go by the name of DJ Mr. Music. 
Every week we're here, Monday, 6 to 8 p.m., all right? Hold on. Where do you go? Don't you need my love, baby? Why can't you come on and let us play? Where now you go? We took up my way. Shout out to the whole Caribbean Power Jam Radio, all right? Let's go. Mr. Music in the mix. Yeah. Just to remind every week we here, every Monday, 6 8 p.m. on Caribbean Power Jam Radio, Behind the Mash Radio, all right? I've been whipping for these unique Zenny. Count on me. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get, get like me, put up on the black eye, man. It's Mr. Music in the mix. Hey. I've been whipping for these unique Zenny. Count on me. My child ain't gonna flood it. My wife's BB. Get, get like me. Put up on a black eye, man. It's, 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 it's Mr. Music in the mix. Flooded. My watch BBs Can't get like me Put them on the block I'm making me the key Ooh. 
way too high Around that time you hit it with the ice I can see the thin slopes Ride skin doing the most Rent the phone, get the belly to go Steady money, give it Oh, I've been whipping, pouring these units in the air Tryna get to the check end I'm in the mood, follow the rules Just get up or stay down Shit ain't nigga, ain't it straight for the same nine Me on the playground, I ain't playing Didn't get to the playing Pull up the flex, no disrespect Just tryna get to the check end I'm in the mood, follow the rules Just get up or stay down Check, 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 check. Yeah, once again, y'all already know what it is. Every week we're here every Monday, 6 to 8 p.m. behind the mash radio. Make sure y'all call in 718-393-5385. Every week we hear Caribbean Power Jam Radio. All the way coming from Brooklyn, New York. We got Boogie Biz, Humble Poppy with us, the whole behind the mash team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New York, what's up? What's going on? Hey, it's the female funk flex. We here in tune. What's going on, Humble? Good, everything good on this beautiful evening, you know what I'm saying? February 19th. How was y'all Valentine's Day? My Valentine's Day was cool, man. <laughs> Listen, man. It was a regular day. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I ain't get no flowers, no candy, oh, yeah. no hearts. No one loved me, bro. Like, not this year. Uh, I dyed my hair red, and all of a sudden, I'm getting the, the honeys, the... You know what I'm trying to say? I don't want to stand it anymore, like... It's very different. It's very different. What's your different Valentine's Day? I mean, I had to argue with the missus a couple a couple days before, so I didn't have to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sheesh. You know what that's like. Uh-oh. You was in a doghouse on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get to the chicken, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. She was working. <laughs> what did you do for Valentine's Day? I'm very curious. Who, me? Yeah. I was in the house. No cooking, nothing I like... was in the house. Nothing? No, matter of fact, I did it that day. I was on WFTU radio that day. How was it? How was it? It, it was nice. We had a nice session out there. No, okay, you know? okay. Working. Getting to Shout the bag as always. Shout out to them. But um, definitely, so none of us did anything for Valentine's Day. You're in the dog house. I don't have a dog house, <laughs> but people just don't like me. <laughs> you feel me? But, um, you know, I kind of met someone throughout the Valentine's Day. Oh, did you? Shout out to him. Yeah. It was different. We spent like the whole weekend together. I'm not gonna hold, you. not like, you know, like hmm. hotel wise, but okay. like you know, race car <laughs> driving. Okay, you, you know, Dave and Buster. Cute, it was cool. Cute, cute, it was cute. different. You feel me for like the first couple of days. It was alright. Real cute, yeah. real cute. Low key met the family. Okay, bro. Oh. This, it was, bro. We just met like February 10th. <laughs> now here's the most important question of it all. Yeah. What's his credit score? Oh, no. See, mm -hmm. that's the problem right there. You don't got a credit score. Listen, we don't got you no don't kids yet, so I can't so watch what? it yet. Look, if your credit you know score I mean? not to a, at a certain point, at a certain number, I'm not messing with you. They ain't 700 and higher. Yeah. Oh my god. So you, you asked ask me all you want. That's the first question. I don't even know your name before I ask you your credit score. That's a fact. Oh credit my score, god. Please. <laughs> credit score, that please. is crazy. <laughs> But listen, shout out to the jammers out there. Yeah, we see Mary, we see Ruth, we see Evelyn, Sergeant, shout outs to you, Nikki. Who else is tuned in? Who else? If you guys are tuned in right now in the live, let me see some hearts. Let me see some love. Shout out to the good people at Caribbean Power Jam Radio, too. That's a fact. Let me Great. see who's shout here. Out to the Our new home. Our new home, definitely. Shout out. Let me see some love. Let me see some love, guys. Don't stare. Let me see some love. <laughs> let me see some hearts. <laughs> but anyways, to be in tune with that, I hope everyone had a wonderful Valentine's Day, a wonderful week. Yeah, I mean, what Besides else happened this us? week? A lot of happiness, a lot of stuff happened this week too. Y'all see what's going on with Black China? Oh, yo, I got God. those messages today. <laughs> I got it like the way I got the message, like she was my shorty. Somebody was like, "Yo, you see this? <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous." <laughs> I opened it. I had to look who it was. Like yeah. I was like, "Oh, it's Black China." Like I felt the way. <laughs> I felt the way too. They saying it was whack. They saying, oh, she was giving it a whack. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's as far as the skills? Terrible. No, I think she did a good I job. Mean, I, no. I think she did a good job. No. 
Nope. You don't think so? Nope. What, what, what do you have to do for the slow bop? Like, what is the, the for requirements? The, for the what? To, listen, I put in work. For the when what? Do, the slow bop. We're going to call it the slow bop. <laughs> call it the slow bop on the air? Because that's what she was doing. The slow <laughs> bop. Yo. <laughs> she was really giving the slow she bop. She said the slow bop. Nah, that's but, that. Nah, let me tell you what that was. That was that wake up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both tired. Uh, uh. That's really? That type of, nah. That's what it looked like to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it 100. The way she was doing that, she was half asleep. She was yeah. Little, little, nah, she was tired. wide awake. <laughs> nah, nah. But she, that was too slow. For those yeah. who don't know what's going on, um, there's a person called Black China. She's a, I could call her a celebrity. You know, the people look up to her, the good people, some people. But um, she was giving slow bop, and she got recorded giving slow bop. So therefore, with her getting recorded giving slow bop, everyone has their opinion of how she was giving the slow bop. They, they're not even mad that this video is out there. Like they're the not even mad because it's regular. It's Black yeah, China. They okay. expect her to be, you know, that type of person. But they expected her to give the best. Yeah, top. I understand that. You know, what slow I'm saying? bop. There For was for the person you that she is and, and how she carry herself. Exactly. You know what she saying? was giving. We expect it better. Straight yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, but I, I honestly, she she did all right. She had the makeup on, so I don't believe she was wide awake. That wasn't the wake up slow bop. It was the okay, I'm tired. I don't really like you slow bop. That's what it was. So, what are the requirements that you guys as men require for the slow bop? If we being honest, I mean, I'm looking at it this way. Mm -hmm. That that's not it. Mm -hmm. That wasn't it. Like as a man, mm -hmm. a woman's goal is to please, and she was not pleasing. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. You know what I mean? Like she, she, she wasn't pleasing. Like, so was, what are the requirements of you to a woman supposed to be? You gotta have some kind of. All right, one thing that I require is a mm. little bit of speed in the two hand motion. All right, so it's more. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> like the two hand movement. I mean, okay, I mean, okay, I don't okay. know. Like, okay. I, I tell them, like, I give them, see, with my women, I give them a list. Like, mm -hmm. you got a list of requirement things you gotta do. You gotta do the two, you gotta do the two hand motion. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be at a certain speed. Okay. If you don't meet certain, if you don't meet certain requirements, you gotta go. Wow. It's I a mean, checklist. Okay. The number that's one very, requirement for me, it gotta be sloppy. I that's critique all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. So, it just gotta be sloppy to me. That's, that's, that's all that matters. I could teach you at the end, and it's like a test. Like, I give you your grade. Like, you know how you be in school, you take a test, and you get your grade at the end of the class? Mm -hmm. End of each session, you get a grade. You uh -huh. know requirements? You can't come back. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> not going to hold you. Not going to yeah, hold you. Yeah, word. I don't know. But man. besides the slow bops, besides shout that. out to my girl, Star Brim. That's the homie. Every time I go to Starlet, she's there. What they saying? She leaked it? Basically, they're saying she leaked it. Nah, but I, we definitely got the proof. Because she posted it on her, on her IG page. All right, so how did she get the video? I don't know how she got the video. So it basically leaked from her page to everyone else's nah, page. Nah, Star Brim posted it on her Instagram. Mm -hmm. like, Give us yeah. the facts. Like she posted on. Like, I got the video from her Instagram. Like, yeah. so she was the first person that nah. basically posted it. We don't know if she was the first yeah, person, but she was the like the, the person with enough clout to make it pop. Like, mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? So she posted it, and mm -hmm. they took it as her taking shots at um, Black China. Mm -hmm. Everybody was on it like, oh, that's crazy, yada yada yada, and then you know it went viral from there. Like, I got the screenshot from. Her actual pay, like Starbrim pay. Oh my god! But anyways, besides that, Starbrim was just basically going on on the fact that, listen, they called her Cardi B's friend. Cardi B's friend said that Black China, she doesn't really have a name in the industry. That's what they're trying to say. So that's what they labeled her as. Star Brim. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, she, that's, that's, that's what everybody know her. As. Yeah, that is true. But she, she, nah, nah. Starbrim been around way we, before. We know her. Let's yeah, talk, that we know is true. Let's but talk. the shade room and the whole nationwide, they don't really, they don't know, really know, know her. Like, you know what I'm saying? We know you her know from how New York. Cardi B be repping all that blood stuff, all that gang stuff that she do. Mm -hmm. Starbrim is the one who you know introduced her yeah, to like, that. Yeah, like put her yeah, on. Like, Starbrim. Exactly. What, what they say, <laughs> gang initiation or whatever they want to call it. She's the one that basically introduced her to that whole situation. Yeah. To the point that you know, shout out to Cardi B, my motivational, you know, the red hair guys. I tied my weave. I tied the bundle. A lot of inspiration. You feel me? The I don't know. A lot of people. They're gonna call you Boogie B. No, 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 no. I didn't do the game. Okay. But you know, it got me a lot of honeys. I ain't gonna hold you. A lot of people trying to bag me lately. Okay. Heard you. As you should. As you should. I get a Mr. Busy. I mean, Anyways, <laughs> I want to I want to how like our callers feel like because it, it does happen a lot like as far as like outside of it being mm -hmm. somebody who's in the public like as a female like when you when when that video go out like how do you feel which like, video like that the slow video, bot video the slow bot video like, um but you gotta understand if it was me nah, you I'm understand not, I'm, it okay. would be different I would go missing 
You understand what I'm trying to say? Okay. But for her, it's more like it's entertainment. It's not that the fact that she did it, it's the way she did it. Yeah. But if it was more of she was putting in work, it'd be like, oh, congratulations. That's how it goes on. But you know what it was? What I mean? She put on the caption like, oh yeah, don't sue me, I'm broke. She can get sued for that. Who? Who? Um, Star? Yeah, Star Brim for oh. posting that video. She can definitely get sued for yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. She really can. Yeah, New, nah. New York State law. But where did it she... come from for if, her to... If she's re- if she's doing the same thing everybody else is doing as, as far as reposting. It's called revenge porn. Google but she didn't, but she didn't, but she didn't, she didn't drop it. All she's doing is reposting the, like, the same thing everybody else is doing. as her being somebody... That right, is true. Uh, okay, I understand, I understand. Yeah. That is true. But, wait, hold on. You said as being a what? Like somebody who's like you know has like a a, a good following, like a popular person who's popular. Okay, so if I had 12k following, because I reposted humble getting head, uh, he could sue me. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Because of his followers. Yep. So if I had 300 and it still went viral, because that has happened. That, because at the end of the day, that's her in that video, and that's her video, and you have to get permission. You know, like real talk, like anytime you post something of someone or anything, you have to have permission. So if they really wanted to get deep down and personal and sue you for it. Okay, so I'm gonna get sued yep. for posting, uh-huh. I'm gonna get sued for posting the Saad video uh-huh. that we had from our last episode of Behind the Mask when Saad was talking a lot of smack about designer. Nah. Because nah. he mentioned it's somebody's name, but you have actual footage, like this but actual footage of He showed day. his phone in one of if he showed his phone in one of the videos of okay, boom, when designer was talking to the, the transsexual woman uh-huh. and everyone posted it. Yeah. Can everyone get sued? The no, guy that no, the because, guy that did the video, can he get sued? No, what? because he's not as far as like there's no revenge or there's no defamation of that person's name. You what, know what I'm saying? What mm-hmm. most people what what most people would would really mm-hmm. do is they're gonna find the most popular like person who really like because of you, this happened. You yeah. Know? So what they say in court, like, oh, pain and distress. I was stressed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but and if the, you the damage revenge for porn laws, that's a real law. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can't do that. No, you got to have proof really it's fine. revenge and all of that, too. Like, she could have proof that, oh, I just did the same thing everybody else did. Mm-hmm. She could defend us with that. Uh, I think. I don't know. I'm not really... Law savvy. It, it all depends how she's gonna take it. She can take it like a champ, like, yeah, I did it. So what? That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it all depends, but as a person, like, because there's females out there who just be like, so what? I did that. That's mm-hmm. me. I, that no, was that's my definitely heart. a fact. But I was my man. I love them. <laughs> Speaking about law, though, they saying Meek Mill appeal got granted, so that's coming soon too. Free mm-hmm. Meek. So do you? Okay. So. What are we saying Free Meek about? What are we saying Free Meek about? So, so the crowd can know. So the viewers can know. I'll tell you I'm a fan of Meek Mill since the beginning. Mm-hmm. What he did. The last charge, he 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 been on probation since he was about 19 mm-hmm. for drug charging, gun charging, a lot of conspiracies. Mm-hmm. But it's always been corruption on his on his side of the case. And he last got locked up because he violated paro- his probation because of what? Because he was doing a wheelie in nah. New York. Nah, it was actually two things. One, it was the wheelies in New York. And mm-hmm. He got into an altercation in the airport. With mm. um, I believe TSA and um, things of that nature, wow. and um, you know when you're on probation, when they mean no police contact at all, they mean no police contact. Right. You know even you getting pulled over by the police and having you know an infraction with the police, that that can cause you to get in trouble. Wow. Like, you're really supposed to stay. That's really like, not even your fault. You know you're supposed to stay from all heat. Like, don't do nothing to to attract them attention with things like yeah. that. Like everybody know in New York City. You gotta have plates on them bikes, and then you gotta when you on them bikes and on the vehicles, you gotta follow the rules like everybody else. That is true. So people, certain people feel like they gotta name their exempt. So he got locked up for base. Meek Mills got locked up for basically riding a bike. No, he got locked up for violating probation. He wouldn't have violated probation if he didn't have what, police what, contact. Okay, so he wouldn't what, have had police contact if he wasn't riding illegal dirt bikes in New York City. Yes. Like I'm all for Meek Mills. So I'm, I'm for So he was supposed to be in Philly. Nah. On parole. Nah. Or he New could, York he City. Could, he could. He could travel. Nah, he was allowed to travel. It's just that he, he was, was supposed to t- yeah. tell them. I don't think nah. that was the issue. He, the issue was that he got locked up for, yeah. for, the, for, the, dirt, for the dirt bikes. For, yeah. Okay, so yeah. from being locked up from the dirt bikes, they just kept him all together. No, 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 no. That's he, just he any home. charge, any charge or any police contact, like he said, mm-hmm. brings it back to his probation. Whatever oh. he did. If, if he just dropped a pencil. So if and they dropped crime, him for the probation before and he violated it, basically he's doing the time for the last probation that he did. Nah, he's doing, he, he has the, basically... He's on probation and he had the police contact. So mm-hmm. he had the police contact, he got arrested, whatever the case may be. And he probably went to the bookings and he was probably home the next day. But because now he had police contact, he has to go in front of the judge again, in the front of, in 
see what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. they have to basically decide what they're going to do now. Or, well, the judge basically decides that on her own. Even his probation officer mm-hmm. was saying um, no jail time. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. But it was the DA and the judge who basically was like, no, we're going to give jail time because, you know, you belong to the state. But that's point what he... Blank, point blank simple. Whatever state you live in, you belong to that state. And whatever laws is... is is in that state you have to follow or whatever they're gonna do to you they're gonna do it to you mm-hmm. but the judge been biased to him and all that too that but he's been saying that in a lot of his music also that's the biggest part of his case right now that's the biggest issue and everything going on you know what i'm saying that's true but for those who are tuned in we're actually talking about the law we went in about the whole black china situation we went on about the mcmill situation now my biggest part right now Da-da-da-da. can i get a bomb like Take a short break. You want to take a short break? Let's take we a short break. We gonna take a break. short break after mm-hmm. you try to. What you want me to get into? You about to tell us about what do you guys want to listen to? What, what are we listen? tuning in right now? I think we should go into the little underground music. For those who are tuning in, behind the mask is strictly well, you know, like a cultural type of thing. Yeah. We play underground music, soca music, reggae music, same thing, man. Everything. Kind of sort. Everything, everything. DJ Mr. Music, let me hear some tunes.
the time would tell, but I'm impatient With all these white faces, you would think I was a racist Sneak a game longer than a limousine With a notebook and a pen, I'm just trying to chase a dream Nah, I mean, money's the motivation I don't even care if I make it out famous I'm just trying to sit down, lay back with the paper Working so hard, still I need a vacation Hello, boo, with this one Would tell her I'm impatient With all these white faces You would think I was a racist Sneak a game longer than a limousine With a notebook and a pen I'm just trying to chase a dream Not nah, me Money's the motivation I don't even care if I make it out famous I'm just trying to sit down Lay back with the paper Working so hard Still I need a vacation And fame there's drama in that drama I don't need that And no one's who popping up Just need to get their weak snatched False accusations I'm finna let like Bill Cosby Am I the only one who thinks Trump is a Nazi? Hit the track right every time Just like it was a bullseye Everybody snakes Man they riding until you die Loyalty and 2017, where is that? Everybody changing, cut them off like some dead ends If I'm not the best, I'm not far from it Trying to be like me, I'll take that as a compliment They want a good delivery, so I press it Bill who it argue, I said that I'm present They talking to me like I am the president But I don't trust what they saying like the government Hey yo, bro, what? who you think you are? I said that I'm a star, just hop in the car they waiting for my fall, they'll be waiting for a long time Cause right now I'm climbing up and I'ma be sky high If life is a game, it might as well be 2K Cause I'm dunking on them like my last name, Irving Mr. Music in the mix. Take a minute and just talk to me. We got this one on one. Now it's me and all you and you and all me. But you're bound to know what's up. I said a minute. Now wait a minute. Could he really be the one? Cause I can't change him. I can't blame him. Could this really be real love? He said, when your days and your nights get a little more colder. Oh, I can't lie, I can't explain it, be new, I 
you were here, you would've heard him say it too And I get so mad, I get so sad Cause he showed up when it's too late I heard they mad, them girls be sad Cause I've been a sweet that makes us so thick And all the pain that we've been through That makes us turn up on a Tuesday I let it go for you Whatever you wanna do Cause lately you've been on my mind And I think about you The kid. Nice brown skin and he's so intelligent And I ain't gonna find me got the shorties on him But it don't even matter cause I put the mask on him Like, who you with, baby boy, who you with? You're coming home with me and I ain't trying to hear I told him all he had to do was tell the truth and be true About the shorties he been trying to do And the way he kissed me, man, he draw me so damn wild And the way he treats me, that's my honey brown apple pie He got me so in love, got me so in love And no loving is good loving unless it's his loving And he gave me crazy support like no other I'm in the night of the hallways Yeah, they hit on me, I tell them wait on me I've been doing okay. okay My number's going up, you don't do enough yeah, But I ain't doing yeah. no shit yeah. Can't even roll the blood, fuck you blowing up Young, okay you. Make her open up, shorty know what's up I send her in that bill yeah. Money got longer, but they got stronger Take a look at the calm yeah. I'm sorry mama, sorry you're wrong Nobody yeah. want the drama yeah. How can I help it? Maybe I'm selfish But once a n*** was helping All of the d*** that I dealt with yeah. And I feel like never felt it Now they don't like me, they are not like me Should I let me get beside me? I never need to try me If you want me, but you know where to find me Kinda money up, kinda money up, kinda money up, okay? yeah Kinda money up, kinda money up, kinda money up, okay? yeah Addin' up, can't get away from these cameras She with me, but she ain't bad enough Bad enough, get my name tatted up, yeah Kinda money up, kinda money up, kinda money up, okay? yeah Kinda money up, kinda money up, kinda money up, okay? yeah Count it up Enough. So not enough, not enough. rolling this sour, sour My money piling up, yeah, yeah Chasing money like I got none Ooh. Getting bucks like a shotgun Ooh. Your honor, I got a problem Sorry. All I think about is last year New chain, new watch yeah. Flag tie, Tupac New ring, new lock We here, you not Pocket rocket for you, pocket watching I'm just counting all this money up You can never stop it, we be bottle pop The club up till the sun is coming up yeah. Getting money till the sun down Sorry girl, I gotta fucking leave Ain't no time for making love now. So she hated when I fucking leave, but I gotta go. Gotta go. Me and a lot of zoes. Yeah, we them vacabones. Rocking a lot of gold. 
Time is money, is the time I'm on Working hard, numbers going up Hit the spot and then we sold up No one going toe to toe dust Blokes with me and they throw it up Homies with me and they do the same Loyalty is what we ask for And for that we guarantee you the same Count it up, count it up Really doing what the song say Count it up, count it up Corey, tell him more, 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 tell him
think I know what's about to happen. Look at people, you make me wanna. Once again, Rick, we here, Caribbean Power Jam Radio, right? I go by the name of DJ, Missing Music, Behind the Mass Official DJ. Let's go. It's Mr. Music in the mix. It's Mr. Music in the mix. Oh, my children, oh, my children, I can't stop. Right. I wish I could go host with some bust up shots. Mr. Music in the mix. Let's go. Mr. Rock and come in. I mean, no let pull it up and come in. Whoa, party car, stop and come in. Oh, you ready to so rock and go, rock and go, rock and go, in. Rock and go, in. If you like what you hear right now, I need you to share this page. Give me some hearts, all right? DJ Mr. Music, I'm in the mix. Ready? You are the
Shout out to the Jamadan C's on a check in. Can y'all share this page real quick? Can I get some hearts in here? Hey! When we say wine, you see 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 turn, 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 It's very special if you want it, you can have it. But don't take me for granted. So much, so much, so much things I did not say. I'm from Port more that's in chain. Hey, we can do it on that beach day. Some hot, some on a got And the extra, forget me not When it's sweet, what you say? Season, burn up, burn ya Wine see me be a bit, everything will stop This make you feel like though Why this make you feel like though Why this make you feel like though Yeah, anyone Come wine till you break off your back One, two. Once again, every week we're here every Monday, 6 to 8 p.m. at Caribbean Power Jam Radio yes, with Behind the Mask Radio. I am the DJ for today, DJ Mr. Music Behind the Mask Radio, official DJ. Mm-hmm. New York, what's up? And we are back. I love the tools in the background. Oh, we're back. A lot of we're underground now, music. We are back. Shout out to all the viewers that's tuning in right now. Who we got? Who we got tuning in? Shout out to DJ Nice. DJ Nice is in the building. DJ Nice is in the building. Don C, shout out. That's the dude that I went on the date with, guys. All our jammers. That us. Shout out to Okay. Boogie, bitch, date. Benjamin. I definitely want to get in tune with the cops. I definitely no no not the cops. Listen, listen, <laughs> I don't want no beef. 
But I definitely want to get into it about the whole situation with Troy Ave. Recently, he went up to um, Power 105 on the Envy Show, The Breakfast Club. And he was basically talking about, basically, his song that he put out. And the song was basically about the whole situation with Tax um, Tax Stone. Mm. With the whole situation with him and Tax Stone, for those who don't know, he was in a club. There was a shootout. One of Troy Ave's mans passed away. Shout out. Rest the peace of the family. Rest for me. But at the end of the day, it came down to will Troy Ave stand on the stand to tell on Tax Stone? Or will he handle it the street way? Mm. So while he was up there, he was basically talking about the whole song, the album. He didn't really give much detail because he couldn't talk about it because of his lawyer. But in tune with that, he was just basically saying, listen, I have two kids. And it's either I go down or you go down. And that's basically what the song was about. So with those who have knowledge, us two, well, us three, um, you guys give us a little detail on how do you feel about it. I mean, for somebody like Troy Ave, mm-hmm. all we know, like all he rap about, and from what we what we hear he rap about, like, you know, he really rap about the streets. So for him do you to think come, so? I'm sorry. For the most part, yeah, he rap about, you know, the drug game and all that. And that's real. I, I, I like his music. I listen mm-hmm. to his music. You know what I'm saying? Powder and all that. Like, mm-hmm. He really about that street. Up, you know what I'm saying? So, but for him to turn around and be like, "Oh," on the interview he said, "Yo, the streets is a myth." All that thinking about, thinking about like street cred and all of that. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's not real. Like, your credit score is real. Like, that's what you yeah. we, we supposed to be worried about. Mm-hmm. But he's saying all that street stuff is a myth. Uh, uh, it's like a, it's like a contradiction within himself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we look we looking at a real situation. Understand True. what I'm saying? Like he lost True. one of his mans, yeah. and I mean. When when you close with someone and and like they life is taken like that's a real serious issue like that yeah is. like I I know I know they say oh yeah you in the streets you're supposed to be tough you're supposed to expect it this that and third yada 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 but nobody predicts when they gotta leave this earth that's and that situation right there it's a real such a situation because no no matter which way he looks at it he's stuck right in the middle of yeah. it understand what I'm saying there's a, there's a saying they say you know I don't curse on the air man if you do it man if you don't. Understand what I'm saying? And, he, and he's just stuck. So right now, I feel like I can't make a decision for him, and I can't say if I was in that predicament what I would do. Right. But he got to do everything for him and his for, and his family and that man family who lost his life. That's you feel fact. me? But sure, yeah, he got to get his life together. And what I mean by he got to get his life together because every time you turn around, he in a different shootout. Mm-hmm. Like, how, yeah. but it's with himself. It's not like you know, yeah, people that had beef with him. Yeah. So therefore, when it comes to that situation, it's just like. What do you do? Mm-hmm. People do change. Money do change people. Yeah. You understand what I'm trying to say? So therefore, why why is he being judged off of the past? You get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. But I feel like when he got money, he got on, it wasn't about the drugs. It wasn't about that. It was really about the money, the party, and that lifestyle. You get what I'm trying to say? So therefore, when you are in the streets, yeah, you could talk about, you know, waking up, I got rushed, my crib got rushed, mm-hmm. my house got rushed. But when you are getting money, you can't talk about the same thing. Yeah, you gotta move Let's different. look about 50 Cent. Let's talk about Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm trying to say? So right. therefore, when it comes to that, things do change. So, you know, like Envy said, Envy said, "Listen, when I got money, I got, I have a kid. I changed my address. So when I'm in the club, don't come shooting me for the past. Mm-hmm. You should have caught me in the past. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? So now the things elevated." Where does it come forth with? I mean, I can understand when you say leave things in the past, but when you have a certain reputation and you've done certain things and you know certain people not going to forget or they're not going to forgive because there's a lot of people out there like that, you got to move accordingly. If you feel me, if I was one way before, let's say five years ago, I was one way, I was in the streets, I was out here, I was getting it, I was hustling, you feel me? Like now I want to change my life around and I want to change for the better. Nah, I mean, I'm always going to have that in the back of my head. Like I made some mistakes in my life and, you know, yeah. I messed up. So I'm going to move with that. Yo, bro, I ain't going to lie. Like... Something happened, you know what I mean? I need you to be my eyes. Like, it's just certain ways you gotta move. Like, like, my brother, like, shout out to DJ Nice. DJ Nice to get a vibe out here, but like, yo, music, you know what I mean? I don't want you to go to this spot because this, this spot don't got a good reputation. And, and, and things like that, certain conversations like that, I really save your life because there's things that other people don't see. That, I mean, there's things that other people see that you, that you, that you do not that see. You see. And 
like one thing when I got in this DJ game, like this many times my brother be like, yo, you sure you want to go to that spot? You sure you want to go DJ there? Like, you because sure you really want to go there? the experience that he has over there. Exactly. And, it, and it's things that he's seen as him being older and him being a DJ before me that I wasn't aware of and things of, of that nature. So that's what I'm saying, Trey Ave. He got to watch how he moves. He got to watch how he put, where, where he places himself because... Yeah. You're known, you're popular, you you have a good following behind you. You got kids to live for. You feel me? Like you you can't move the same. The second you you, you got a, a a pitney as the Caribbean people say, you you got to you got to live your life for them like. Yeah. Cuz at the end of the day nobody's going to treat them like so like now you. he is mo- living their li- his life for them and therefore he's not saying if he's going to take the stand or give a statement. But he's basically saying it in his song. He's basically giving that impression. Or me. You get what I'm trying to say? And yeah, we know the whole beef with Tax Stone, but it's the way he characterized the video. He didn't do an actual video. He did like a cartoon Mm -hmm. kind of thing where it showed basically you snitching in your music. That's the thing I don't agree with. If I'm in a situation and it's a live situation and it's sticky like the situation where he's in where his man did get killed and he he has to go to court and he may have to you know testify for the next person and things like that i'm not gonna put my my i'm not gonna put my lyrics into the music because right, right, right. it's a real situation if somebody's family is really really hurting if i am gonna put you know the situation in the music i'm gonna be like you know rest in peace to such and such or whatever the case may be and, and i'm gonna leave it at that but i'm not really gonna go into details of it's either gonna be me or you because now you add a fuel to the fire. You 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 setting up more controversy because now he like a oh, word like me me thinking of it either you or me. I'm thinking like damn he about to snitch. Mm-hmm. And nah, that's a fact. And he's like, adding more fuel to the fire. You yeah. said because he's still coming at Casanova and he's still not really. You think so? Out. You call him Casanova on, on the on the on the interview. Okay. I mean, well, the, the recent interview. Yeah. Oh, wow. Casanova and you know he, he brought him up and all that. Okay, but he did also talk about you know he was at that stage where he was bullying. Um, it was another. Oh, uh, Capital C's. Bullied. Who? Capital C's. The one that killed Joey himself. Badass, um, yeah. Joey Badass. Joey Badass man. But he was actually a great rapper. Yeah, both of them. I was actually I was really a great rapper. With, with the whole but it falls into him being depressed with the whole industry. You know what I'm saying? Being in the industry, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of things that come with it. So it's either, listen, I'm killing myself to get away from it. Mm-hmm. That's the way he took it. But um, another thing, too, with that situation, shout out to, you know, two times. You know, we team two times over here. But I feel like people... People were basically judging. They didn't listen to the album. I listened to it. Okay. But people were judging. What album? Um. Um. What you call it? Okay. Troy Ave. Oh, Troy. But people were basically saying, like, listen, listen, I'm team two times. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna listen to the album. I'm not gonna. It was a great album. Do you guys feel like people, the fans, judge beef off of buying the album? Is good music still good music off of buying the album? Or the way the beef is. What you mean? What you mean if it's, if, if they judge it? You team Troy Ave, I'm team Tax Stone, uh-huh. right? Because I, I I'm rock with Tax Stone, I'm not gonna listen to your album. But music is music. Definitely. And I'm a radio. We both radio personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about that? For I the mean, crowd honestly, me personally, yeah, it does turn me off. Like, I don't listen to like the recent Troy Ave, none of the recent Troy Ave like music at all. Mm-hmm. Now I don't think it's because of that, but. Just from him like dissing Steez and then and then this now is like a turn off. Yeah, definitely. And it really does bring down your fan base. Like, I, I um I look at it this way, it's it's all one big mess between Tag Stone yeah. and and Troy Av. But the issue the issue lies down is this. Yeah, we got an issue going on, but we still got a job to do. Right. Yeah. At the end of the day, we still gotta we still make gotta music. We money. still gotta get in the studio. We still got shows to do. Yeah. We still gonna rap and. There's, there's gonna be venues where they may where they may be together. Per- perfect example, Summer Jam. What if Tag Stone and Troy Ave is gonna be at Summer Jam at the same time right. and Funk Flex wanna bring them both out on the stage? It's not happening. It's definitely I'm, not happening. You feel me? Yeah. But when you in the music industry, it's certain stuff, it's certain bullets you gotta eat. It's it is But a lot of people don't think like that. Money's mm-hmm. not money to certain people. You get what I'm trying to say? Let me mm-hmm. get my brother, let me go in the club and leave. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Because if that's the case, that situation would have never happened. Right. You get what I'm trying to say? Because it was at a concert. Right. You know, but at the end of the day, it's just like Tax Stone basically opened the door for Casanova. Okay. So there's words that people are saying, like, listen, he did, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shout did. out to the Stark story in the background. But he opened that door for him. And it got to the point that Casanova's carrying that bridge. Like, yo, listen, I'm going to handle my man's work. So, as a DJ, if you were in that situation, how would you do it? Are you fighting with the team or are you not fighting with the team? If, if I was in the, the situation as far as how, as far as like... You're... If, Troy somebody, you, somebody, you, I'm, I'm, and I'm everybody shooting DJ. in there. You got a grip on you. you shooting or you running out? At the, I mean, oh, at the end of the day, I mean, well, what? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say it like this: as a DJ, my job is to, uh, to, to rock the crowd. You feel me? Mm-hmm. My, that's what security is for. And there's even been events where I go in a spot and I, I hire personal security because I feel like it may be a risk or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or you know, I got a security guard with me who got cuffs on them just in case. You know what I mean? We gotta take somebody out. Yeah. My goal is. If I have a, a altercation with somebody, is my goal ain't to, you know what I mean, to pull out a gun and beat you up, whatever the case may be. I got my because you're the me. DJ, right? You are gonna get hemmed up, and you are gonna get cuffed out the club. That's what you are gonna do. So it is the difference between the DJ and being a security guard. Yeah, that, I mean, I feel like when you in professional environments, like the crowd, and then I gotta look through the crowd and, mm-hmm. and, and see who I got beef with, or whatever the case may be. And this is why I say when you get in certain predicaments in, in, in this industry, in the music industry, you have to move a certain way. You gotta watch how you move. Um, shout out to Chinks Drugs. One of, one of the main things French Montana um, said to Chinks um, before Chinks died, um, he said, yo, like, watch how you move. Watch what you do. Understand what I'm saying? Don't be riding around 4 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning by yourself. You got a name for yourself. And, and and I took that conversation from French Montana to to um to Chinks Drugs, rest in peace, Chinks. And 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 and, and I took that and I took that from French, like he was saying it to me. Because there's there's been times where I've been driving around three o'clock, four in the morning, yo, what we doing? What's good, boy? Right. And one thing about this industry, when you get your name popping, it's always people watching you. The good people, the bad people, the bored people. And the most people that watch you the most are the bored people because they always on their phone, they always on social media, they always want something to look at because they don't have anything better for themselves. Yeah. And those will be your number one haters. They don't hate you because you got beef. They don't hate you for any other reason, but you're doing better than me and I see you shining and I can't get what you got and I can't get it. So I'm a hater. And, and that's what it, it all falls down to with the Troy Ave situation. Like, he just really have to watch himself. It's a serious situation. You got to do what you got to do at the end of the day for your family and that man's family. So you think he's taking a stand? I don't know what he's going to do. I'm saying at the end of the day, he just got to do what he got to do. That's so his decision. You think he's taking a stand? No, nah, I'm on him with that. Like, he got to do what he got to do. I think he's taking a stand. So I mean, now, let me ask that, you this then, question. I think he's taking a stand. Do you think him taking a stand is him snitching? Cause you know that's what they about to say. Yeah, no, I don't they, think he's snitching. That's what they already saying. That's what they, 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 they already saying they're it, but saying. I don't feel like he's snitching. But now, see, and here's where I don't like. You know how they say, "Don't mix business with pleasure." Yeah. Like if you business minded and, and, and you are artist and things like that, you got to keep it strict in business. Because if he wasn't in the streets and rapping about the streets and getting money and things like that, and he would have took the stand, they'd be like, "Yeah, that's what he does." He's, you know, he's a business person. Yeah. But because. So if Jay Z takes the stand tomorrow, he's a business person. Huh? If Jay Z takes the stand for the same similar situation, is he a business person or he's a rapper? I mean, it don't change just because Jay Z don't make the difference. But he's a businessman now, and he doesn't talk about the streets. I look at it this way: if Jay Z take the stand, Jay Z taking the stand, and ain't nobody can do to stop him. Me, Jay Z. Exactly. So we gotta put that in the same predicament, regardless of the name of two it. Two different people, and they move two different ways. Jay Z. I'm going to keep it 100. Jay-Z can afford to take the stand. That's a fact. Because. And he can play it off good. Jay-Z got security like. That like, is true. Yeah, like, He'll like, have everybody like. That is You know, true. I might just take the stand tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> if Jay-Z doing it. So. <laughs> nah, that's definitely that's a That's real, yeah. Like, like, one thing about me. Like, I feel like. I look at it. If I was in a, ever in a predicament like that, I'm going to call my security. Like, yo, I ain't going to lie. I met some things. Some people want me. When I go out, we go. And that's how we going to move. When I go into a spot. Two in front of me, two behind me, whoever I'm with. I got a little lady, my brother, me in the middle, yeah, and and I, and I gotta pay y'all to do that because I gotta make sure I'm protected at all times because you never know what the next person wanna do. That's and fun. I don't got time to be, oh, let me protect myself, going trying to get this and get that. Nah, I'd rather just pay security because I got four big black dudes who gonna tear you apart. You feel me? Like, 
Perfect example. What what's the dude name who just got beat up in the in in the restaurant? DJ Hellrell. No, it's not DJ Hellrell. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Hellrell. No, it's not you, man. You know when I saw DJ Hellrell, you know what I was thinking about? What? The other DJ Hellrell. Nah, this Hellrell. I'm this, this Dipset Hellrell, right? Yeah. That's Dipset Hellrell. Yeah. When I saw it, I was like, oh my God, let me call him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Shout out to Cold Bully. Now they good. They Shout definitely good. Bully. Now I ain't gonna lie, like a few people did the same thing. Like, you heard, yo, I heard Rao got beat up. No, yeah. not Why he got beat up though? I'm I'm, I'm hearing mad Yo, I don't don't, don't know that. But they just keep story. coming after him. Yeah, why? Like, like what It's you, a what continuous thing. <laughs> this, First it was JoJo, then now it's the it's the DJ. Like. But yo, they they did him dirty at the yo. flaming grill. And Long Island. He was with Fam though. Nah, that's that's. that's he was that's with his foul. mom. That's foul. He nah, was nah, with nah, his nah. mom and his shorty. How row? That's foul. He was with his mom yeah, and his shorty. Yeah. And, and, at Flaming Grill. At Flaming Grill, where Shout they got the Flaming Grill. That's where they got the, the hibachi in the back. I'm about to go there after this. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a but, queen, that's a queen spot. Or something? Nah, nah, no, it's in Long Island. It's a buffet. I'll take you there. You can cook your food yourself. They got the little hibachi thing. Yeah, the little fire sticking. Nah, I don't want to go there no more. How and got beat up. Troy Adams gonna try to go there next. I didn't even think I'm that scared. was the, um, the flaming girl, though. Nah, that's really, definitely that. I recognize it. I've been in there a lot. You know what I'm saying? Big fella. You knew the floors and everything. I knew the floors and the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Nah, but yeah, why he keep getting beat up? I keep seeing You a DJ. What, what do you know about that? About what? The whole Hell Rouse. Hell Rouse not a DJ, though. He a DJ? He's a DJ? Nah. He's not a DJ? I don't, I don't know what he is. Artist. He's really an artist? I think you're confusing DJ Hell Rouse and Yeah, Hell nah. DJ Hell Rouse from Club people. Bully, he's a DJ. He's just a DJ by himself. But the right. hell rail mm-hmm. with the 77,000 followers on Instagram who got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he's an artist. Yeah, he's an artist. He was back in the day. Yeah. But they not saving him. I don't see no comments. I don't see no love. I mean, they playing him, honestly. They, they really count him. Because, boy, I, I look at it from the, from the, the viewer's sorry. point of view, <laughs> he got snuck. He yeah. got snuck. He was sitting down, eating with his family, whatever the case may be. And he got punched. And then when he got punched, he tried to get up. And he tried to run away, but they were still they were still whooping him. My thing is this. As a man, if I'm with my family yeah, okay. and I see two grown men approaching me about a situation. Oh, so he saw them approaching. Yeah, from the video. He was sitting down. And they was talking first. They said a few words. They 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 exchanged a few words first, and then the altercation happened. As far as like it getting physical, or moving on, and things like that. And then it just went from there. And then you know the of course the video ended. But it sucks that so the way social media is now mm-hmm. is when you have an issue because people so I mean they post so much, mm-hmm. it's very very easy to get caught up. You mean yeah. they, you go that to a spot? True. Oh yeah, I'm here. Yada yada yada. You that promoting it? Oh, were he here? We there. Like, me personally, like, when I'm in a spot, because you, you never know who you got beef with. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You can have an issue with somebody, and you don't even know them. They just have a personal issue with you. Yeah. I'll go to a spot and post after I'm at the spot. Yeah. Nah, that's, that's how you nice. Like, I went, I went out yesterday, and I ain't post. I, I posted I posted it on my Instagram. I am DJ Mr. Music. And I, I went out to, um, to, to eat, and I posted that I was at that place after I left the place. And I mean, I posted on Snapchat, but I, I'm, I'm very selective who I have on my Snap, so yeah. I can see who's saying and things like that. But as far as like social media, you when you when your page is public, your followers it don't even gotta be your followers who got beef with you. It'd be somebody who's not following because they don't watching your page. Who's just watching your page and your every move stalking you. Mm-hmm. That is true. So that's why I mean, it just that's why I was talking about the whole trash situation. You just gotta watch how you move. You know what I mean, be humble, move quiet, and, and chase that's success. Okay. Cause if that you do that, key happened to me one time, yeah. but it wasn't like any beef situation. I was in Cambria at the McDonald's on, I don't know where it's at. I can say farmers, it's not really farmers. But anyways, on Linden, yeah, on Linden. And I was in there, I was in a line and this guy was just staring at, it was me and my two friends. And he was just staring at the window. And I'm like, all right, so he's crazy. He's about to walk in. I'm like, girl, he about to holler at you. Ah, ah. you Cause her numbers is up on Instagram. He came and I'm over here dying. He's like, yo, you boogie biz, right? <laughs> Can we talk outside? Went outside. Y'all got some couple bars for you, B. How did you know I was also your Instagram? It be simple things like, yeah. but I don't think like that. You feel me? Like bars is bars, but like, nah, I mean, who's watching? It, it happens in the media. Um, f- it, ha- it happened to Funk Flex. Funk Flex got off the train, walking to the radio station. Oh, we got some. 
snuck on, right? Yeah, they didn't snuck him and, and popped on him. <laughs> Charlemagne, sorry, 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 not for like Charlemagne. Don't talk about my dad about like that, okay? Charlemagne, yeah. Don't they, talk they, about my dad. They, 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 they snuck Charlemagne. Goons. They said it was Lil' Kim Goons that did that. That's what they Whoever said. did it, but they yeah, were just yeah, basically... Yeah. Yeah. But that can happen. Yeah, that can happen. It just happened to home. Six not well they didn't, they didn't find him, but they, they got him in a club. They found him. They oh, they did the, the L.A. Crips. They got not the L.A. one. I'm talking about the L.A. Crips. Yeah, did you yes. not no, see them going that hotel room? They went into the hotel looking for him. Yeah, the yeah, L.A. Yeah. Crips. It's crazy. Yo, they was like, where's six nine? It at? was like a mob. Like, if Carly was, B go out there, it's over for her. Nah, they they said YG said she Gucci. YG said she. Yeah, YG said she Gucci. That's, she got the that's cosign. The, that's the worst, huh? She got the cosign from YG. Yeah, yeah, he said she Gucci. He said nobody touching him. But the six nine situation, they was mobbing like. Protests like it was protesting like. Did you guys see the time. whole thing with Bobby though? He called him Bobby. Or something like that. Bobby said, "Listen, I don't mess with that fruity." <laughs> Who? Bobby Smarter. All right, but from the jail call, talking about he don't mess with. Him. Oh, six nine. nine. Yeah. I mean, six. I, I, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut in that comment. Listen, I'm gonna talk. You know what I'm saying? saying it's the female funk flex here. Yeah. I'm opinion. talking, man. I, I just so feel bad. like I'm gonna be honest. I just feel like a lot of people around him for the clout, bro. Ooh, I bet. Six nine. A you lot not, of people around bro, him for the clout, and a lot of people mad bro, at him for, for, for the clout. Straight, yeah, for straight, yeah. yeah, of course they're mad at him for the clout. But, bro, a straight dude not going to stand with no situation, with no problem. You feel me? He got flipped in the club, and I see none of his men jump in. When he got flipped in the club? That's why I got to watch how you video, move. It was video, bro. He was walking in. His man was all right here on the side of him. He was walking in. All you saw was mad men just walking in. Started beating him up at the club. They didn't perform or anything. You know what I'm trying to say? And this was in New York City. It happens. So my thing is, bro, I don't know. Never say never. I don't wish for that interview, so it's all right. I could talk my smack. But that's it. Now, like, getting back really... to that Bobby thing, how you going to say whatever you're saying and you can't even, you don't even have the privilege to make music right now? Sure, like but that. that's just to remain relevant. So that's I mean, gotta, like six do. nine doing what he doing, whatever he doing is making him <laughs> is making him money. Then he get it. Then he get a record deal. Nah, I, I think that was fake. I think he's still underground. Oh, that was he's fake. Still underground, yeah, bro. Song, I, I mean, he's still underground. He out there. He he underground, but he shout out to yeah. shout out to Punch for calling, and that's officially six nine's DJ. Facts. Six right. nine he DJ. He called in last week and made it official, saying that's his artist. Shout out to him. But definite fact. Everybody got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a lot of people DJs. Punch. He's, yeah. Yo, Punch definitely working as a DJ. Nah, he, he definitely yeah, is. Yeah, like y'all seen when he DJ for Uzi? That was crazy. Yeah, he was nah, wilding. That definitely was. That was, that was definitely, definitely wild. He, he's, he's making the New York DJs look good. Shout out to him. Shout out to South all of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That, that we had the global uh, global spin awards this weekend. Mm-hmm. I actually did. I gotta be honest with you. I did not learn about it until this weekend. Until I really like looked it up and figured out what it was about. That's the thing. We gotta get more. Out yeah, more. and I said it to myself like. I need to be on it one day. Mm-hmm. Like, it, Not it's even just all about working. Shout out to Barbados, George. Shout out to you. But um, definitely, you know, catch what's, behind what's, the mask. We're going to go. We definitely in um, AC3 in Atlanta mm. in October. We definitely going out there. That's something that we putting together. We definitely have panels, panels that I'm working on. That's basically it. What's what's the um, Global Spin Award? The Global Spin Award is basically like the BET Awards, but for DJs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Self did it win. <laughs> Self did it win. <laughs> but he was nominated. Shout out to the big bro, the biggest hater on my bit. He's the uh, biggest. He's my biggest hater. But you know, shout out to him. You want to see you win? Wow. Nah, he just said the female funk flex. I don't really like it. I don't really mess with it. Wow. For me. But shout cool. out to him. You did it win. <laughs> that's not nice. Yeah, that's not did nice. it win. He tried though. Yeah, he he was a runner up. Nah, he wasn't. A lot of people couldn't even up. get in a position to get down in. I ain't gonna hold you. Lou got Cash was over there strong for his men. But you did it you, win. You gotta have support. Shout so out to the Queens. I um, there's a few different DJs that got awards. Um I really didn't, you know, because I wasn't dead, so but and it wasn't on TV neither. Yeah, it wasn't. Okay, yeah, it was just like, you know, like You just found out through yeah. all the snaps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, and events, things like that. But um he was definitely a runner up. He mm. just, you know, he didn't make it. And it, and it, I gotta be honest, it wasn't a lot of New York DJs there. It was. It was a lot of was. West Coast DJs and a lot of down South DJs. Why do you figure that though? Did because they put in the most work. You know what it is? Other states let their DJ shine, and what I mean by that is like, same with rap. It's not repetitive. Like you see a lot of promoters out here in, in the clubs, and it's the same DJs week after week after week after week after week. And because they scared to put other DJs on or they scared to let other DJs shine or 
you know, like I feel like fuck Flex been on the radio since I've been listening to the radio. No, like, he really has. Like, yeah. and, and that's I don't what see I feel, any like, cosign. I don't see any. You know what I'm trying to say? I definitely see. You know, shout out to enough. He definitely puts other DJs on yeah. his his slot and let them rock out. Um, let's name a couple good DJs. DJ, um, DJ Sir Manny. DJ Sir Manny's DJ good. Sir, I love that man. DJ yo. Young Chow. Shout out to my Young brother. Chow's DJ Young Chow's definitely Chow. lit. Um, um, Falls on the radio. Shake the Block DJ. Bobby Trends. I Bobby don't, Trends. Bobby I don't Trends like Bobby Trends. You don't like Bobby um, Trends? I had an experience with Bobby Trends in the club. We had booked him. Shout out to about last night, my team. We booked him for a party and he was just like, literally just touching it and playing the music. Touching it. We went from the walk it out crazy. to the... Is Bobby to the Willie Bounce? Like I don't even think he mixed. He didn't even mix the music. You get what I'm trying to say? You know that's like my biggest thing, bro. You have to mix the music. You have to get me right here and bring me right here. Being, you can't bring me right here and bring me down being right here. Born. It was born. Like I was standing there and just really listening right. to it. And that's my biggest thing about DJ. That's what thing you have right. to keep me moving. That's why I named my name with that, my little hashtag, the Vibe Setter. Like when you DJ, it's not about just playing music because I can play the ten hottest songs. You feel me? So a DJ can play. We can go in a club, right? And. You could play the same 10 songs and I could come play the same 10 songs. But it's about how I'm going to drop that song and the energy I'm going to bring and what I'm going to say to get my crowd hype. You feel me? And and a lot of people who call themselves DJs and play music, they don't understand that. They just want to they just want to, you know, mm-hmm. play music and because they know they're going to make a quick dollar. Definitely. Like you really have to get engaged and you really got to get now your crowd and learn your crowd. That night, but now he got paid, but you know, and, and a lot of people, they let it get to their head because they got a name for themselves or, you know, I'm going to a, a way crazier part in this. Let me just do Let me hurry real up quick. real quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Bobby Condis. I did not know yes. he was, um... He's still lit. Now, he's definitely lit. He's still but lit. always lit. through the air, I always feel like he was, I thought he was, a, you know, a, a West Indian DJ. Yeah. He's definitely oh, Caucasian. He's, not, he's oh, Caucasian. Oh, Bobby Condis is Caucasian. You see, you never seen him in person, bro? I see, I see how he looks, He but. is... Yeah, he's Bobby right. Clear as day. Yeah, that's, that's that look just like that. Never knew that. Any, any right. That's what I'm saying. Like, so okay, so <laughs> before we end it real quick, is Sean Paul Jamaican? <laughs> DJ Nice, is Sean Paul Jamaican? <laughs> nah, he from the Bronx. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on that factor. But listen. Not to you. <laughs> <laughs> listen, you are tuning into Behind the Mask Radio each and every Monday, 6 to 8 p.m. This is Boogie Biz, the female funk flex. It's your boy, Humble Poppy. It's your boy, DJ Mr. Music. DJ Mr. Music, we have a few seconds. Show them. Oh. Show them what a DJ is really about. Show them what a DJ is really about. I want you to Show touch. Them who the, you see the, the clock? The We're on was. 7. It's 7.52 right now. Yeah. You got till. Eight o'clock. Yeah, we got I want to you to o'clock. play every genre of music. I want you to go in, show them why you are behind the mask official DJ. I don't know what you're gonna do right now, but I want you to break the airwaves right now. You tune into Caribbean Power Jams right now, DJ Mr. Music. Sound like a hype man. Yeah, but you're tuned in. Five, four, three, two, one. It's Mr. Music in the mix. Once again, y'all already know what it is. It's Caribbean yo, Power Jam yo. Radio with Behind the Mash Radio. I'm everybody's DJ, DJ Mr. Music. Right. Can I play something for my ladies real quick? Can I play something for my ladies real quick? Let me get through these crazies real quick. Get through the record. Mystery in the making. Part two. So crazy right now. I look at this so deep in your eyes. I touch on you more and more every time. When you leave, I'm begging you not to go. I'm your name two, three times in a row. Such a funny thing for me to try to explain. How I'm feeling in my pride is the one to blame. Cause I know I don't understand I feel like I'm doing more than you think Tell me that this is crazy right now You know I'm stopping that this is crazy right now I'm stopping that this is crazy right now I'm stopping that this is crazy
Mr. Music in the mix. Work, 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 work. So me have you work, 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 work. You see me do me da 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 da. And so me better work, 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 work. When you walk on, na 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 na. Me no care if it's my da 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 da. Try me, I deserve it. Nothing to be lurking. You make a walk, now you don't like it. You know I dealt with you the nicest Nobody touch me in a race Nobody touch me and I'm crying I don't care about your bitch, but if I wanna take her I don't let her run my paper, I erase her Watch out with flip it! Insta mix, Snapchat mix, ready! Jack Frost, some people need it Do that shit this page real quick We got six minutes left, I'm getting ready to turn this place all around It's up in a well, if a man not treat you right, in a your business, them Dirty. tell them straight up, say you not like it. They might like them, are they? Tell them five people, I'm special to me. Wanna make you my lady officially. I'm your ticket for Biden, me willing for pay. Fly in from distance away. Right, my eye just changed. It just was the front gate. I thank God you came. How many more days could I wait? I Make plans with you, and I won't let them fall through. I, 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 I. I think I lie for you. I think I die for you. Jealousy cry for you. Do things when you want me to. Like controller, controller. Yeah, like controller, controller. Yeah. Okay, you like it when I get crazy. Grips on your waist, front way, back way You know that I don't play Cheeks not say, but I never run away Even when I'm away OT, OT, there's never much love when we go OT I pray to make it back in one piece I pray, I pray Give me the dust. That's why I need a one dance Got a Hennessy in my hand One more time before I go I have powers taking a hold on I need a one dance Got a Hennessy in my hand One more time before I go I have powers taking a hold on me It's Mr. Music in the mix Caribbean Power Jam Radio, your number one, number one station. Like when you're right from my head down to my feet, and she just smile at me. I don't really know what it means. See, I'm in a bit of a limb, but still, I'm looking for what is up there. Talk to my love. 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 Can I get your number back? 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 Baby, just bend, 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 b